you have a pet at home. How many times have you sort of silently said to yourself, gosh, I wish that I knew what they were thinking, or are they okay, are they happy? Could actually tell, could you actually tell if your if your pet was okay, right? Right, I have so many questions. Yeah. I feel like every single day, as every pet owner does, um, a local pet empath or animal communicator is giving animals a voice, and you could say she is a modern-day Dr. Doolittle. Take a look. Susan Deren was an insurance broker for 18 years, but knew from a young age she could tap into animals' feelings. When I focus on the animal, either using a picture, they don't have to be with me. Uh, I just need the photo. And when I focus on them, I become them. She keeps telling me I'm her baby, baby girl. I had her meet my seven-year-old Chihuahua, Kona, to see what she had to tell me. And she calls you the queen. And she said that to me right away. <laughs> when you put her down, she goes, she's the queen. She does not believe you'd ever let anyone hurt her. She doesn't always like her food, though, so we need to talk about the food. <laughs> you like a nice piece of chicken? Oh, look at the ear. You want some chicken? I think you should have chicken. How about a nice piece of steak? For local veterinarian Dr. Jennifer Schwartz, Susan's communication ability helps pets get their two cents in. The fact that she could truly blow my mind with the things that she was able to tell me uh, that was right on point. Dr. Schwartz says Susan has also helped animals found hurt or abandoned. So I will say to them, I don't believe this is physical. I'm not feeling any pain anywhere. So next I go to the mind and then I go to the heart. It gives just kind of a level of an additional layer of communication with the animal and what the animal is feeling to help guide the owners. And it looks like Kona will get more chicken. Speak. <laughs> okay, so as a pet empath, Susan is also able to communicate with animals that have passed, as well as animals with behavioral problems to really get to the root cause. I learned so much about Kona. Also, that she has an allergic reaction to some treats that I'm giving oh, her, wow. that I had no idea why she was itching so much. Mm. So really, really interesting here, and I got to get Kona's voice. There you go.